You would think 40% of men are over six feet tall, but the average American male is 5'8". That doesn't make any sense. It's 5'10". Uh, 5'9". Five, mm-hmm. five, oh, nine. Five, nine. Five, 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 nine. Five, nine. Sorry. Yeah. So 5'9 okay. is the average North American male. Okay. okay. Got it? Cool. So Tom Cruise, 5'7". Cool. So we're going to go. <laughs> now, the other thing is, I'm just just curious. What do you think the average guy makes in the United States? Like a uh, uh, household income for one person, single male. What do you think? Average? Uh, maybe like, probably like 80K. Wow. Uh, what do you think? 400,000? Well, average man. Oh, does that average make man. Uh, yeah, we're talking about annual, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 200,000? Average man make 200,000. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know. Girl. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Realistically, with everything that just went on in the world, I don't know, maybe like 70,000. I know that sounds crazy, but average male, 70,000. Average male. Um, okay. Before tax. Wow, this whole time I was thinking like 60. <laughs> Interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, it's $37,000 a year. Oh, oh, wow. oh, interesting. So 1% of men are over 6'3". The average, uh, me- the medium take-home pay is 37000 For a household, it's 69000 For a household. Yeah. Yes, okay. again, you guys are used to being, hey, I went to the club, the guy spent 15K bottle men, and he makes $4 million a year. Isn't that how most men are? No. The, the guy, like, it, seriously, if we were to go to Walmart and you were to see, like, the Filipino cashier who's five foot, five foot two, you don't even notice him. When it comes to dating, you don't literally don't even fucking see him. And that's the thing. That's one of the things we're trying to bring up is that like the world is not what you think it is. Mm-hmm. Just when, when you're here, like when women complain that men cheat, the number of men that cheat is extremely low. Most men don't have the ability to cheat. Most men don't have any chance whatsoever to cheat. Do you guys understand? It's just men in Vegas. Mm-hmm. No, it's just men in Vegas. <laughs> yeah, just, that's funny. Awesome. That's funny. No, but a lot of men in Vegas will come here because they have an advantage. Like, the, again, the guy, the guy who works security at the nightclub takes fucking roids. He, you know, and he works like three or four different jobs, and he's been with hundreds of women. The, the average North American male, how many sexual partners do you think he's had in his life? 60. 60? What do you think? Wait, wait, wait. You said average? Uh-huh. Like six. Six? What do you think? <laughs> Five. I'll say probably like like eight to ten, probably eight to ten, average. Y'all yeah. Yeah. start undershooting it's, now. It's yeah. <laughs> I'm like way you guys are getting it. Yes. So the the answer is five. Yes. It's five. Oh, it's, yes. it's five okay. for I thought it was seven. It's actually five. five. It's five yeah. for men. We it's looked th- it up this morning. It's actually. three. <laughs> it's three for women. Uh, now here's here's another thing. I just because I don't want to make you guys guess, but for men, the top five percent of men or top five percent of women have had thirty five sexual partners. The, the top the, with the most number of sexual partners. The top five percent five percent of men have had one hundred and fifty. So it's a little bit more skewed towards men at the top. Mm-hmm. Whereas in it, so for men, it would look like this. Like, so uh, well, actually, I, let me express this for, uh, before we go forward. The number of men that have zero sexual partners or in the last, say, no sexual partners in the last year, what percentage of men have had no sex in the last year? Domo, you know, because I, I brought this up on your show. Do you remember? Uh, no, I don't. I got uh, it. But, but um, yes, go for it. You said the, the that, that, percentage that, yeah, of that, men that, that, fat, that have that, that no fucking fat, sexless guys. Sexless guys. Oh. That that weirdo who does the crosswalk at the school. All of them. The guy who fucking should gives give, you your. Should we give him the age range? No, uh, eighteen to thirty. You're right. Mm-hmm. Eight, so the guy who fucking gives you your fucking uh, food at, at uh, the drive-through. The number of sexual. The number of the percentage of them that have zero sexual partners in the last year. 10%? What do you think? Ten percent. What do you think? Um, I would say like thirty. Thirty. What do you think? Maybe like thirty. I don't know. That sounds though like an unhappy. Like married man, you know? Go ahead. You could go a full year was, without sex. I was thinking like 70, 75. 70% of men have had zero sexual partners in the last year? Yeah. That's incredible. They all that, go online. It's, that's, 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 no, it's not, it's not, no, no, I mean, I'm just, it's, no, it's no, interesting you say that. People, yeah. That's what they do. Yeah, so, so that's it used to, so in, before 2008, the number was about 16%. Now it's 33%. It's almost mm. doubled in the last decade because in 2008, what happened? Mm. What happened, guys? Social what media. happened in 2008? Social media. Social media. The, the Facebook app went on the iPhone. That's essentially what happened in 2008. And from that point forward, you're right, men's ability to communicate with other women became almost non, just non-existent. Does that make sense? Right. And it got significantly worse and worse. Social media did not make it easier for men to meet women. It made it easier for a small group of men with Lamborghinis, uh, with Lamborghinis, with fucking six-pack abs, with paddock watches, with mansions to meet all of the girls. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then part of the proof is when I asked you guys what percentage of men you think were six foot three, you said, you know, what, 4% or whatever, and it's 1%. So these men that you think are normal, making $200,000 a year, by the way, the top 1% of wage earners in the United States make how much? What do you think? 
We're talking the top one percent. The top one. You're at the very top one percent. What do you think it is? I really couldn't answer that. Do you think 200,000, 300,000, 400,000, 3 million, 4 million? No, I was thinking like at least 2 million. 2 million? What yeah. do you think? Meaning 99% mm. of people, 99% of men make less than this number. Maybe like 7 million, 6 7 million. 7 million a year? Mm. A year. Not total net worth. I'm talking about how much they make a year. 7 million? Mm, maybe like 5, 6. 5, 6 million. Okay, what do you think? 1 million. Um, 1 million? What 10 million. Um... Yeah, probably a million. Yeah, beautiful. Four hundred thousand dollars. What? You guys have bottle you guys <laughs> you, you guys who've worked in bottle service, you guys have people you serve all the time that make more than four hundred thousand dollars a year, right? Yeah. One the top one percent of wage earners makes four hundred thousand dollars a year. The average man makes thirty seven thousand dollars a year. Ready? Wow. Now here's what happens. Now you start because here's the problem. A lot of women are like, Why can't I find a good man? And the reason why is because you think they exist when they don't. <laughs> they fucking don't. And that's the thing. It's like it's one of these things that this city kind of screws you up because you met a really hot guy who works at the club or whatever. He's you're sleeping with the DJ, and you're just like, no, he thinks that I'm different. But no, the DJ's been with a bunch of girls because the DJ's six foot three, makes two hundred thousand dollars a year, you. and he has so many fucking options you don't realize. Whereas every other man you met in your entire life has none. It's not it, it's not a linear progression. It's a fucking exponential progression. So we just said 33% of men, zero sexual partners. The average North American male has five. So once we get to the 50th percentile, we're at five. When we said we get to the top, uh, the top 5%, we said 150 partners. It goes like this. <laughs> That's what it looks like. So it's like, and, and when women are complaining about men over and over, they are literally fighting <clears throat> over this one, this 5% of men that they're all fighting over. Do you understand? So we, with all of that in mind... Now let's let's, now, we, let's we find your ideal guy. We're gonna find yeah. we're gonna find your ideal guy. I almost wish we'd done this first, but, but yeah, we, yeah. we did it in reverse well, no, order. No, but it's cool because now they have uh, they have a, a, yeah. a preview here. Yeah, cool. Okay. You so, like this? We do a lot of sociological stuff on the show. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. It's about to get way more interesting once we get to this yes. part. Now, the first question: uh, you, We're going to talk about your ideal man. Okay, and how tall he is? How tall is he? Can you write these down so we can put them Me? all? In yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll average them out. Yeah. Uh, Needs to be a minimum of what? It's got to be taller than me, I guess. But you're five. Five foot. Five fo you're five feet? Yeah, I'm a little oh, baby. You, that's right, you are. I keep yeah. forgetting. Taller than me. I used to care so a lot five, about So height. five one is good. So five, five, five one? one is the bare minimum. Uh, like five <laughs> seven. Five seven. Would nice. Be the, okay. seven. Would good. be the lowest. Good enough. But. Beautiful. Natty. Uh, I think like five eight, five nine would be like really? the shortest. Yeah. Okay. But. I'm, I, again, I think you're five three. Tall, five two. You're five, on two. a good day. Yeah. <laughs> if we hang you upside down for half an hour, you're five three. If you if you spend a week in space, you're five foot three. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Shout out to the flat earthers. You can go to space. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Minimum, minimum height. Um, uh, six six feet. Six, six. feet. Mm -hmm. Okay. There, there goes the average. Oh, wow. Five seven. <laughs> five seven? Five really? Seven. No, okay, this is crazy. Okay, this is definitely the shortest we've ever got. So just mm -hmm. to let you guys know, on dating profiles, it'll go like a, you'll have a normal distribution for men. We don't care about a woman's height at all. Absolutely no preference. Men will put five foot three. No, five one. They do not care. In the slightest, men do not care whatsoever. There's a few men that are super into like models in New York or whatever, but this is a, we're talking about less than 1% of men. Most men do, absolutely do not care about height. For women... You have this normal distribution in Europe where it goes by centimeters, right? And, it, and the normal distribution looks like this, but not in the United States because we don't go by centimeters, do we? Mm. We go by feet and inches, and it goes like the normal distribution is six foot three, six foot two, six foot one, six foot, and then at 5'11", it drops off a fucking cliff. This does not happen in Europe. It only happens in the United States. For some reason, American women who go by the imperial system, that six foot number is a magic number, even though it doesn't mean shit. And most of the guys that you're dating who are six feet are wearing those Balenciaga lifts that makes them two <laughs> inches taller. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do age. Age. Minimum age, maximum age. Oh, man. Um, I mean, based on experience, probably somebody either 25 old, years older than me, maximum, and then minimum, like, two years younger than me. Can you just give an, an age for the guys? Oh, park. for the guys? Oh. Without um, me asking how old you are. <laughs> oh, I, mean, I thought we were, like, picking up, like, our max you could go that there. we would date. Yeah, um, the website doesn't know how old you yeah. are. Okay. Um, I need an age range. Probably, like... Probably like anywhere from like my age to like mid thirties. How old are you? I'm twenty eight. Okay. Twenty eight yeah. to mid thirties. To mid thirties. I was like, yeah, mid thirties. Let's say twenty five to thirty five. Yeah. Okay. What do you want? Um, I like 
older men, so I would say like 40. Okay. 40? Yeah. Oldest, what's, the 40 what's the oldest? Oh, the oldest? Oh, God. Mm. You're a Fendom queen. We're going to talk about Fendom for a long time here. So 40 is your youngest. 40 is my youngest. Okay. Um, I, I mean, I could go like 36 maybe, but uh, say like 55. Okay. So, yeah, say 36 to 55. What, right, what, what do you want? Let's say like 30 to 50. 30 to 50. That whole range. Mm -hmm. Miss Nugs. 23 to 40. 23 Ooh, to 40. 23. You would date a 23 year old? Get it. Yeah. Real talk? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really like uh, motherly. Yeah. Ooh. I usually Ooh. take care of people. So okay. that's. Rob the cradle. Yeah. Okay, cool. Got it. All right. So, so okay, now, let, now, the, let me this in here. now, here's Go the thing. Ahead. Just so we can skip this part, just in case. Do you guys care about his physique? How, would you be with a guy who's a little bit chunkier, or, or you do want not want someone who's obese, or you don't care? I absolutely give a fuck if mm -hmm. a man takes care of himself. Because why would I be taking care of myself more than he is? Hell yeah, okay. Any, what, what do you think? Yeah, same. Like, I mean, it's not a big deal if they're a little out of shape, but as long as they're, like, healthy, that's my main thing. It's like, yeah. you don't need to be jacked or anything, but you do need to be, you know, healthy and in shape and keep up with me if I want to, like, want to, you know... I'm going to exclude, I'm gonna exclude obese. Yeah, okay. What about you, yeah. Dumbo? You would exclude I, obese? I personally... I mean, I want to do obese, but I, I personally don't really care, but... As long as, yeah, they put some initiative to, like, going to the gym and eating well. But I do like people Natty. who Yeah, like I feel like eat. it really depends on the person. I like really scrawny sometimes, like really tall, skinny, like... Heroin chic. I'm, like, learning so much about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But... Oh. I also like dad bods. So it, it doesn't really matter. Oh, it depends there we on the go. Person. Okay, we're, we're coming, we're coming we're back to that. Dad I just recently started liking men with muscles. That's mm. that's new for me. Yeah. I was never into it's, that. It's it's uh, the the cycle roided up cycle every spring here in Vegas. That's when all the fight. That's when all the, that's when all the fights start. Winter time, the dad. All the guys, girls are laughing because it's true. Yeah, um, so the thing is, what the problem with the whole dad bod myth is, if I were to show you an actual dad bod, you'd be like, "That's gross." People think dad bod is Jason Momoa. That's not dad bod. Okay. Oh God, no. Yeah, dad bod is like pasty, fat, no six pack, yeah. muffin top hanging over the side. That is that's a dad Yum. bod. Whoa, whoa. Leonardo, just, Leonardo just DiCaprio. Like, like, no. Actually, yeah, I mean. I could, I'd have to see. There's yeah. like a range for sure. Mm -hmm. I, I've just found that when women say dad bod and we show dad bod, it doesn't it doesn't match up. All right. Should okay. we, we should. Exclude. And then the last one's. Uh, yeah, we, we're we gonna. Should, we no, no, should exclude. We'll married. do both. We'll do both. We should exclude married or not. Uh, yeah. Would you guys ever date a married person? Just raise your hand if you would. No. No. Have you guys ever dated a married person? Oh, I mean, I would date them if like I was dating their wife too. Okay. Right. Good answer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have that option. I, <laughs> I, I know. I, have, I usually check off like a different box. Okay. I have dated a married man, but I would never do it again. It would just have to be more so like on terms. Yeah, for sure. I exclude married. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, uh, oh, now we got to do race. No, we didn't have the money yet. What, oh, money. The yeah, minimum money. income. Yeah. Like how much they would have to make a year? Yeah, yeah minimum. Um, Probably at least probably seventy thousand. Okay, mm -hmm. minimum income. Hmm. Annually. Yeah. Ooh. Um. I don't know. Forty thousand. Forty. What do you want? What do you think? Maybe more. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> came back. From where I come from, I feel like you got to be making more than my real father. First of all, or okay. I'm not going to take you mm -hmm. seriously. Second of all, I'm thinking about a mill. I know that sounds yeah. crazy, no, that's but fine. I have that's my okay. reasons. That's I have fine. my reasons. Okay, I'm going to average you, it. That's yeah, fine. It's fine. Mm -hmm. And yours? No, what we're going to do is... At least you didn't say five. That's what CJ Sparks <laughs> no, no. said. <laughs> yeah, he said, she said five million a year is what, what her minimum was. And we'll do the highest, and then we'll do the lowest. Okay. Go ahead. The highest and lowest? No, not you. I will. Just oh. you, you okay, guys okay. Tell me. Okay. Yeah. Um... I mean, I feel like as long as they pay all their own bills and aren't making me take care of them... It's fine, but like I said, I usually end up taking care of them. So I don't, I guess I don't really look at guys' money sometimes. And it's one of my <laughs> flaws. It, yeah, it's, it's all really, I care yeah. about right now. <laughs> yeah, it's actually one of my biggest flaws. Yeah, trust me. Daddy, you're going to care about it. You're going to care about it. Have you ever dated it. a guy who like gets who's homeless? Who's Wait. Homeless, yeah. Couch surfing homeless dude. Have you ever dated I didn't like know. Or would be homeless. Because I, I know. Just came over and had a backpack and then <laughs> never left. Yeah. Um, And I was really confused because... <laughs> And what ski I was resort like, oh, did he work you just, at? <laughs> you just came to visit, but you have your toothbrush, like everything mm -hmm. with you. 
<laughs> That's weird. I'm learning so much about you, Natty. I did not I know. know. <laughs> uh, just give a number. What, what, what's the minimum number you think they'd have to make? Okay, like annual salary. 40. 40? Yeah. You know what's interesting? Uh, we had uh, Amanda Nicole on here a while ago. And she started oh, yeah. talking about when she was dating guys in Los Angeles. It's like they had so much money that they would like not pay a lot of attention to some girls because they were just fucking loaded. She said, like, I like living in Vegas because these dudes are broke. They're so good looking and they're fucking broke. I and it's funny. Broke. And it's funny listening to you girls because the answers that we got in Miami for women who are not, I don't mean to be rude, but like not anywhere near, an order of magnitude less attractive than you guys. Mm. Uh, they, they were all saying <laughs> they needed guys making 130 or less. And, um, and they believed. Way, I mean, their their numbers were outrageous, except for the mill. They were their numbers were just fucking outrageous. Every one of them wanted to date a guy with six three. It was crazy. All right, cool. So very very cool. So now here's what we're gonna do. Let's do this. Uh, let's just oh, let's, let's exclude Rocky. obese. Let's do. We got to do, do race too. Oh race. Sorry. Yeah. What race? Do you not or do you not care? Um. Yeah. I don't care. Any. Okay. Yeah. Any. Okay. Because the options are this: any, uh, white, black, or Asian. I don't care. Any. Mm -hmm. I like white boys for sure. Okay. We are in Las Vegas because <laughs> that is the least common answer in Miami. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't really care. Don't really care? Yeah. I'm just going to put any at this point. Okay. All right. Ready? So let's start, so at, let, let's start at the top. So she said seven. No, she, no, we can't do one mil. No. Okay. Well, the lowest, the, the lowest was 40. was 40,000. So the top. Let's start at the top. The top would be uh, 500,000. Well, she but, said one mil. But, like, one I, mil? I, I but you can't go up. You I, can't I, can go only go, I can max it out. That's yeah, all. max out yeah. is 500,000. Yeah. The top 1% of wage earners <laughs> in the United States make $400,000 a year. Okay. So mm -hmm. that's, that's it. So let's max that out. And then let's say the tallest you said was six feet tall. I got the average at 5'10 right now. Yeah, but, no, but let's, not, let's not do the average. I want to do the, t the top. Oh, the top. Yeah, so let's do the top. The top was what, six? She 68, said six yeah. feet tall. Okay. Yeah, she said a mil. Okay. Any race, and then they said uh, not married, not obese, and not obese. And we said the age range was twenty. Let's, let's just say for, for for this, let's just say twenty five to fifty five. Just put them all in. Twenty five to fifty five. Got it. Okay. All right. Those parameters we just gave you. They're six feet tall. We're going to do all of them, by the way. Mm -hmm. They're six feet tall. They make seventy thousand dollars a year. They are not married, and they are not obese of any race. What percentage of men do you think that is? Seventy thousand. Seventy. Yeah. Okay. Max. Actually, no, no. Wait, she said, at, let's, let's at, max, it max, max it out. Max it out. Max it out first, and then we'll do 500,000. 500, okay. Making 500,000. What percentage? 10. Jesus Christ. Okay, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Probably like 0.5%. <laughs> 0. 0.5. Somebody can do math. What do you think? 0. 0.3. 0. 0.3, what do you think? I was going to say like 2%. 2%. Okay. What is the answer? The answer is 0. 0. 0. 0.010%. So it's one one hundredth of 1% of, of men. Because, because 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 we just said 400,000 is the top 1% of yeah. our wage earners. So the number can't be higher than... Mm -hmm. The number can't be higher than 1%. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Now do the same thing with $70,000. $70,000, same numbers. What percentage of men? What do you think? Um, Probably like 5%. What do you think? I'll say 5%, yeah. I don't know, like 1%? What do you think? Okay, this is the 2%. 2%, what do you think? Getting close. 0.83%. Yes. Almost 1%. So, Ooh. guys, ready? Here we go, guys. You want a dude who is over six feet tall and makes $70,000 a year. It is eight-tenths of 1%. That is the likelihood of you finding them. Now, it's skewed, <laughs> it's skewed for you guys because oh, wow. it's skewed for you guys because you live here with a bunch of fucking male bartenders, male strippers, and male VIP hosts, and they're all a lot of them are in that category, and so you believe that's what they're talking about. By the way, a lot of the <laughs> hosts here are lying about how much money they make. So that, that's essentially what happens, you know, because they end up on your fucking couch for a long time. But that's essentially what happens here. And so this is kind of part of the delusion where, where women start to believe that these numbers exist. And part of the th reason why is because social media kind of makes us believe it that way. 